I also didn't quite get why Jedberg. Um, I I've, I mean, when I saw him aim the the gun at the guy, and then you know you got you know, family, kids. Okay, I thought he was gonna say, then put the gun down, and I won't do anything or something. But then he puts the gun down, and he gets shot. I I mean it. I guess they needed to, you know. I guess the the character didn't have anything left to do. Uh, how very Robert Rodriguez of Campbell, um, and you know, if he did get away, he was gonna be hunted. Hunted, but it it just felt a little. I don't know. I totally get why he spared him. You know, the yeah, it's worse to not have had kids at all than to um, see your kids die. You know, the conversation with Mel and all. Um, I also thought the the smoke thing earlier on was a little bit weird. I don't know. I just can't imagine it happening anywhere I've um, ever been. Someone yelling to the neighbor, "What are you burning?" That it's like a really bad re. I mean, does the smoke travel that far? Was it supposed to be a joke on um, anti-smoking? I don't know. I mean, I can imagine that uh, the the cigar thing would smell pretty bad, but that far away, really? Was there a really bad wind that we didn't quite notice? I don't know. Can you actually be qu quite that accurate with a shotgun? I mean, it wasn't quite point point blank range, was it? You know it. I'd also say some of the twists were a little obvious. I mean, I'm not tooting my own horn here, but you can't. I knew that he had radiation sickness before you know the milk was confirmed as to having it, having the you know the before we saw the Geiger counter uh, react uh, to it. It was also maybe a little obvious, you know, when he cut the hair. Uh, also, how stupid was that, you know, with the, the woman starting to, and then, GET AWAY FROM HER! Just, just, okay, dude, Mel, we get it, you're a badass, you're super cool, everybody does what you want them to do. Seriously, just, that, that was kinda dumb. I mean, this, the 70s and 80s are over, that, that shit just gets unintentional laughs from audiences now. But yeah, when he, when he cut the hair off her, you know, you kind of knew it was going to be used for something. I also, when, you know, when he wiped the blood off, I thought that that was going to be like he would have that tested for something to see what she could have had. I mean, you know, or the, her throwing up and then nose bleeding. I don't know. And then it didn't really go anywhere. Early on, once I realized that it was, you know, going to be a mystery, I really thought that all he w that everything he was doing was related to the police work, to the investigation, you know, and that he'd say, you know, this is her blood, you know, and this is her hair, but no, it was related to his relationship with her. That was just I don't know. I I can't tell if it's bad directing or if it was just me who had different expectations. It just felt a little off somehow. Also, I guess if one wanted to be harsh, the relationship between him and his daughter was kind of mainly there for the revenge to work, you know, it didn't add a lot, it wasn't like, oh, I remember she did sometimes keep secrets, you know, it didn't really, it wasn't necessary other than motivation and so that we could feel like, I think we were intended to feel some sort of you know, gratification once uh, he did kill the people uh, responsible. I didn't really, I, it just felt out of touch with, um, I don't know, the expectations, what it should, what it seems like it should have done, where it seems like it should have gone with all that was, I mean, it was a really interesting idea when, I mean, the, you know, um, nukes that were supposed to look like, um, 
you know, radical Islamist um, s uh, dirty bombs, you know, that, and then it just it goes nowhere, and we don't hear anything about them being dismantled, we don't get positive proof uh, to anyone who would know how to, what to do with it, I don't know, it just feels a little, a little bit wasted, but yeah, I think that's all for this one, so see you next time.